All right, let's do a contract. I've been kind of running out of running out of ideas. I'm running out of stuff to make fly. I'm running out of stuff to knock down with the flying phone. And by the way, who's this baby-faced cunt? Hi, how are you? How's it going? That thing had to go, man. I was fighting the never-ending battle with cupcakes, and I was starting to inhale my mustache. So I, so it has to come off sometimes. <laughs> let's check out my. Uh, where's my history here? Right there. Let's check out a contract I played a while ago, and this is one of my favorite ones so far. It's a really clever contract. Um, where is it? It is one by Professor Snow Leopard called um, Fallen Comrades. I might have passed it already. Where Where you is? Where they at, though? Maybe it's back here. There it is. It's the first one on that page. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, this guy, any method suit. This guy, accident. This guy, falling object, falling object, fall. Uh, let's check out the targets real quick. Um, these guys are all on the um, at the front gate, so... This turned out to be a really clever contract because it was kind of difficult to get these guys to the appropriate kills. So let's just run around the map and check out where they are, and then I will run through a strategy that should take care of all the conditions. Um, not even bother setting anything up yet. That is not what I'm going to use. I am bringing the breaching charges in the phone, but the flying phone is not all you need. I'm not going to use it at all. Use them at all. Okay, where where are these guys at, though? Where they at, though? <laughs> all right, one guy right here. Uh, he is accident suit. Enjoy the show, sir. Accident falling object. There's a guy over here. I think he might be a falling object, too. Let's check him out. Whoop -de -doo. Yeah, he is falling object. And this is exactly why this contract is clever, because these guys are nowhere, anywhere remotely close to falling objects. <laughs> and then, um, wait, that was one, two, three. Oh, there's a guy over here. Accident fall. He is, again, he is on the ground floor and he is nowhere, anywhere remotely close to someplace he can be pushed. And there is Kurt. That is not the real Kurt. Oh, no, wait, that is the real Kurt. It says it right there. Sorry, I got confused. Any method? So I'm thinking that Kurt starts under that chandelier. So that is an appropriate way to kill him, or an easy way to kill him. And then I'm thinking the guys who are specified as a falling object can be manipulated under that, too. So I'm thinking of a quad kill here. Uh, could, could have been a quintuple kill if it weren't for the, uh, this condition. This guy needing to die by a fall. But, so those are the targets. Let's get the um, strategy set up here. I'm going to replan. I need to get that guy up higher for a, a push so let's start in the attic I'm gonna bring the silver baller let's bring little Neapolitan and let's bring some coins and this strategy is gonna take a while that's all I'm bringing for this one Napoleon coins is all you need <laughs> Bet you didn't see that one coming since it wasn't the flying folk. All right, that is a setup for this one. Here we go. Uh, this is going to take a lot of tries. I'm not going to get this one first try all Pago Champo, but who knows? I might. Well, this one is really difficult to talk over, so I'll do my best here. Uh, let's wait some cutscene. That will give one NPC the chance to get out of the way and not go for Napoleon instead of the target. Let's grab the hammer, knock this guy out, and he will uh, serve as a disguise in just a little bit, and knocking him out will also prevent him from going for Napoleon instead of the targets. Because he is in range to hear it instead of them. Let's toss a coin out here. And that will stop a woman... Oh, Jesus Christ, am I going through puberty? My voice is correct. That will stop a woman from going for Napoleon instead of the targets, but Napoleon can... It did it again! Can you stop it? The goldfish of preteens never had a chance. The goldfish Napoleon of preteens never had a chance. Napoleon gets the attention of multiple people. It gets the attention of one person for every time you drop it. So that got the attention of an NPC who is not a target. And then the second time I dropped it, it got the attention of the one who is. So I will have to turn him around when they end up coming upstairs. But I'm going to do the same thing here. 
uh, drop Napoleon twice again, and uh, this should get the attention of two more NPCs, one of which who is a target and one of which who isn't. So back there's a question mark above the target's head. Let's turn it around the guy who isn't a target by tossing a coin out. And let's move this guy over here. So at this point, uh, two guys should be on their way up the stairs, and then I still need to make two more targets uh, start walking upstairs also. So that's what this one is for, or these two are for. Let's check downstairs. There's one, two, three guys are on their way up the stairs. Kurt is already under the chandelier and dropping Napoleon first the first time, or the first two times, got the attention of two NPCs, one of which I need to turn around, so let's bump him. And this is the guy I need to push, so he is on his way to a balcony. Uh, let's grab the suit back and get the hammer ready for a knockout, and hopefully he situates himself in a position where he can be pushed. He did. Nice. He has been, been not cooperating. All those guys are under the stairs. Let's knock this guy out. And the last time I did this, I was able to shoot the winch, but bullet distractions are back. And it can be both a blessing and a curse because I can't shoot the winch now because there are two guys who will hear it. And they will go on alert. So I got to shoot the chain. Uh, this should be a quad kill. Let's see if we can get it to work. I have to wait a few seconds. Uh, should be good. Yeah, got them all. And this is a known trick. If you sh drop this chandelier, then um, it is possible to get down the stairs without getting spotted. Uh, you still can get spotted depending on where the uh, guards are looking, but let's try to get down the stairs. Right past this guy. He didn't spot me yet. Not found for trespassing. Should be a good one. Now, that was a quad kill. That was pretty cool. That was one of the reasons I like this contract. Get out of the way. Oh, I got an enforcer there. Fuck. I almost got caught there. Now, this was a lot faster than last time I did it, but this should be a, should be a good one. Silent Assassin 202. I've done it in as fast as 156, but... That is a cool contract. Like I said, it's a clever one. Those guys are not anywhere remotely close to... Uh, the means by which you need to kill them, but they can be moved there pretty easily with Napoleon. Uh, so Professor Snow Leopard, that was a good one. Keep them coming. Um, I kind of, I'm not sure if I want to start doing um, uh, user contracts because the, the newest changes to contracts mode have given people the means to make some pretty bad contracts. Like the, the, all hidden bodies conditions and the no shots missed conditions. It is just giving people more ways to just create contracts that are not fun whatsoever and limit the approaches. So I'm kind of hesitant to say that I'm going to be doing a lot of these. This was created well before those that change came out. But uh, you can give me the numbers. I will check them out. I will not guarantee I will do them. And please, if you're going to make contracts specifically for me, try to leave those those things out unless they're well thought out <laughs> it's just contracts are just gotten pretty tedious and monotonous because of those lately that is a change i i don't like but who knows i'm sure it could be good if if you put a lot of thought into those conditions and still allow people to uh, give people the chance to be creative in terms of the approach but the more conditions like that you add to a contract and the more it limits the approaches and that is the reason why I don't like it. But anyway, that's a cool one. Uh, that's one of my favorites so far. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is CJ and I'm out. See ya!